In an era when audacity was the only mode of survival, a single man's valiant risk in the dazzling realm of Las Vegas preserved a kingdom on the brink of falling apart. This tale is of Fred Smith, the originator of FedEx, and his remarkable gamble that engraved his name into the annals of corporate America. In the 1960s within Yale University's revered halls, a youthful Fred Smith envisaged an unprecedented proposition for air freight, a unique entity distinct from passenger airlines. It was an idea that stemmed from his experiences and observations while he navigated the skies as a charter pilot. The concept was simple yet groundbreaking. To revolutionize the way computer components and electronic devices were transported across vast distances, Smith, with his vision, was attempting to change the game fundamentally. He wanted to alter the way we thought about networks, supply chains, and the efficient movement of goods. This was not just about creating a new company or a different business model, it was about creating a whole new industry. The inception of this idea was featured in a paper proposed by Smith. It was a document that encapsulated his grand vision of an interconnected network capable of transporting items swiftly and efficiently. However, this proposal was met with skepticism from his professor, who failed to acknowledge the potential of such a potent concept. Nevertheless, undeterred by the academic indifference, Smith continued to harbor his idea, steadfast in his belief that it could revamp the entire logistics industry. His resolve to turn his vision into reality served as the cornerstone for his future enterprise. It was this audacious idea that, although initially overlooked, eventually became the framework for what would later be recognized as Federal Express. His courage and tenacity transformed a mere paper proposal into a global logistics empire. In a time when daring was the only option, one man's bold gamble in the glitzy world of Las Vegas saved an empire from crumbling. This is the story of Fred Smith, the founder of FedEx, and his extraordinary bet that became a legend in corporate America. His initial academic paper, misjudged by his professor, laid the foundation for what would ultimately become Federal Express. After contributing his services in Vietnam and directing Arkansas aviation sales, Smith, empowered by his innovative vision and relentless drive, established Federal Express in 1971. This venture, although pioneering and revolutionary in its business model, wasn't immune to the hostile landscape of corporate America and rapidly plunged financial unrest and uncertainty. The economic climate during this era was volatile, marked by a sudden surge in fuel prices due to a global crisis, the Arab oil embargo of 1973. This embargo was not just a geopolitical event, but a profound economic shock that jolted the entire industry. Under these circumstances the financial burden on the fledgling company intensified, leaving it gasping for breath. As the early part of the 1970s wore on, Federal Express itself delivering thousands of parcels every day. This massive operation however came with a price. The pressure of maintaining a robust supply chain, coupled with the escalating costs, made a profound impact on the company's financial health. The company's resources were stretched dangerously, with just $5,000 remaining. The situation was further exacerbated by an insurmountable fuel bill that totaled a staggering $24,000. The company was on the precipice of financial collapse. It was at this critical juncture, staring into the abyss of a catastrophe, that Smith took a step that would not only save his company, but would become a defining moment in the annals of business history. Smith, in a move of desperation, made a decision that would become the stuff of corporate legend. Smith took the company's last $5,000 and flew to Las Vegas. The city, known for its vibrant nightlife and glamorous casinos, glittered like a jewel in the heart of the desert. Alighting from the plane, he could feel the electric energy pulsating through the city's veins, an adrenaline rush was both exciting and nerve-wracking. As he stepped into the grand entrance of a renowned casino, the bright dazzling lights, the cacophony of slot machines, and the murmur of hushed conversations competed for his attention. He decided to play blackjack, a game of strategy and wit, and possibly he knew the risks that he was about to take, but he was desperate and had nothing to lose. Everything was staked on this moment, on this game. The cards were dealt swiftly, the players placing their bets in silent contemplation. He could feel the of the gaze of the patrons around the table on him, but he maintained his composure. The game went on for what felt like hours, each round a dance between risk and reward. His financial future as well as that of the company's was laid bare on the blackjack table. He had moments of fear, 
of doubt, but he continued, determined, his gaze focused, his mind calculating every move. Against all odds, he turned the $5,000 into $27,000. The room erupted in applause and disbelief. Smith had done what many thought was impossible. This miraculous win wasn't a complete solution but it kept the fleet running for another week. And more importantly, it bought Smith time. This incredible win in Vegas was more than a financial lifeline. It reinvigorated Smith's determination. It was a triumph that had a profound impact on Smith's mindset, causing a seismic shift in his tenacity and resilience. This was more than just a monetary victory. It was an emotional boost, a rocket fuel for his undying spirit that was diminished by previous failures. His soul was ignited, his willpower was restored, and a new fervor was kindled within him. Smith's tale is not just about successful entrepreneurial ventures and strategic risks, it is about an indomitable spirit that refuses to bow down under pressure. This man was driven an insatiable hunger for success, a burning desire to prove the naysayers wrong, and a relentless zeal to carve a niche for his company in the highly competitive business world. His determination, combined with his strategic acumen, was the catalyst that resulted in this unexpected Vegas victory. Following this strong resurgence of determination, Smith's relentless pursuit of new financial avenues steered Federal Express into a new era of growth and prosperity. His tireless efforts led to an additional million in funding. This was a monumental achievement, especially given the competitive nature of the investment climate and the bleak past the company had been struggling to shake off. This newfound financial strength symbolized the dawn of a new era for Federal Express, enabling it to sail through the choppy waters of financial turmoil and establishing it as a contender in the delivery industry. The influx of this additional capital gave Federal Express a much-needed lifeline. It enabled the company not just to cope, but to thrive amidst tough competition. Federal Express not only survived but flourished, transforming into the FedEx we know today, a behemoth in the logistics and delivery world. This reinvention was more than just a financial resurrection, it was about the emergence of a brand that has become synonymous with reliability and efficiency. Fred Smith's story is a vivid reminder of the razor-thin line between failure and success. This tale, this journey, is drawn with the intricate strokes of determination, persistence, and an unwavering belief in innovation. It brings to life the essential elements that make or break entrepreneurs. It is a saga that transcends the norm and offers a deep dive into the complex world of entrepreneurship. In a broader context, it mirrors the unpredictable nature of the business world. It reflects the ebb and flow of economic trends, the cyclical nature of success and failure, and the ever-present risk of unpredictability. This mystery, this enigma that is business, is akin to the rocky cliffs that line the ocean, capricious, uncertain, and full of risk, yet holding an allure that is irresistible to the brave. And this allure is not exclusive to Smith. The annals of corporate history are filled with similar tales. Just take a look at the risky ventures of other corporate giants. Consider Steve Jobs, who dared to transform the communications landscape with the iPhone, a device considered absurdly ambitious at its inception. Or think about Google's moonshot projects, ambitious aims that push the boundaries of what's possible, often dismissed as mere flights of fancy, yet have the potential to revolutionize industries. Smith's gamble, his calculated risk, was whimsical decision. It was the result of careful deliberation, intense foresight, and a steadfast refusal to adhere to traditional norms. It was a brave move, one that could have easily ended in disaster, but such is the nature of risk. It's a double-edged sword, capable of cutting both ways, and therein lies the beauty of Smith's story. It's a testament to the fact that sometimes the most unconventional decisions lead to the most remarkable outcomes. It's a chronicle of audacity and innovation, a narrative that proves that sometimes the path least traveled can lead to the most extraordinary destinations.